my YouTube friends and teachers. Today I wanted to do a um, video on bullying, but not on like types of bullying or anything like that. I wanted to do a classroom activity that you could do on bullying. I know that October is anti-bullying month and we're at the end of the month, but um, bullying is a topic that you can do at any time during the year. And this is a low resource, high impact, um, bullying activity, uh, an activity on what bullying is like for people who don't actually understand or who are bullies who don't actually know what they have done to another person because they just cannot get it. Um, so all you need is a single sheet of paper for each student. It doesn't have to be a full sheet of paper. You can use scrap paper. It could be half a sheet of paper. It could be a quarter sheet. It doesn't matter. Just some nice, clean, smooth piece of paper. Um, and basically you just kind of give each student one of these. And if you have like a um, book that students do these sorts of like um, activities, and um, in, in British curriculum, we call it citizenship. And so this would be a topic that would be taught in citizenship. And so, um, but it could actually be done in any lesson. Um, and then they could do a write up about it afterwards and you could even mark it. But anyway, so you give them the nice clean sheet of paper and then you tell them to crumple it up, tell them to Dump on it, tell them to squish it with their hands, to really make a mess, but not to rip it. Okay, so basically just the crumpling up thing. So they're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Then tell them to carefully, without ripping it, unfold to the paper. Okay, smooth it out. And if they've been stomping on it with their shoes, it probably will be a lot dirtier than this. So let them stomp on it. Um, but once you know that part of the activity is over, have them open it up, smooth it out as best they can. Now, the next thing that you need to do is tell your students to tell the paper that you're sorry. Try to fix it, okay? And have the students say, you know, I'm really sorry. And, and, and smooth it out, make it flat as best they can, okay? Um, now you as the teacher, once the kids have done that bit, um, really now this is sort of the crux, um, you tell them even though you said you were sorry, even though you tried to fix it, point out all the scars left on the paper. Um, and that the scars will never go away, no matter how hard they try to fix this paper, all of these marks are never going to go away. And this is what happens when a child bullies another child, okay? They may say they're sorry, but the scars of whatever it was that was done, whether it was physical, verbal, cyberbullying, or social bullying, that those scars are there forever. Now, let me just say this is really simple. It probably will take you maximum 10 minutes, okay, if you, maybe even five minutes. But the impact that this activity has on kids is really amazing. I've had it work with students that really were aggressive bullies. They were physical, social bullies. And this activity really change something in their in their minds um, and and it can work with any age group um, you know you could modify it for little kids but really middle school and high school students this really hits home they get the point and then what you could do is um, as um, we did in our citizenship class we took our paper we glued it into our citizenship book I think I used a smaller sheet so it would fit um, but what you could do is just have them fold it in half glue it down onto their notebook page or in their notebooks and then they could write about what it is that they actually learned um, 
type of situation and even and then go back and read them because sometimes these kids you know they'll actually write things and you it might give you a clue into some of why they're doing what they're doing so I really wanted to just share this I know this is out there on the internet but I thought seeing it really would have a really big effect so if you are looking um, for a bullying activity this is quick easy and inexpensive um, if you have a bullying situation in a class, maybe you're not the citizenship or the homeroom teacher, but you teach science or you teach history or you teach math and you have a situation that comes up in your class where there is a bullying situation, whether it's something you see or it's something that someone tells you, this is something you could do at the start of a lesson that really will just grab the kids and then five, 10 minutes, and then you go on and teach your math lesson once you've got done this. And then maybe observe and see what happens, you know, during the course of the week or the month or whatever, whatever's happening with the students in the class. So I wanted to share that. Hope that will help some people. And I will see you again in a little bit with some more activities um, and science activities and um, maybe some planner updates, but, um, there you go. Hope you enjoy. Please leave me some comments about this. If you've done it, that would be great. If you have other bullying activities, that also would be awesome to share in the comments below. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. That would be awesome too. Thanks a lot and have a really great week.